Hello Libra and welcome to your weekly reading for August 8th and I wanted to say that um, if you didn't if you didn't check it out yet I do have um, I, I'll be doing week uh, daily um, birthday reading so every day that will be posted and I am I will have my coffee cup readings up tomorrow so if you haven't seen those yet check it out tomorrow anyway let's see coming in for the week of August 8th, but keep it. Okay, Libra. Okay, guys, um, I see some good news, um, money worries and money's on the mind, um, underlying pain is money, um, unexpected changes coming in, and I do see a few spades are here, which indicate to me, be a little bit careful with, um, you could be accident prone, so I'd be a little bit careful, also, it could be a week that you're focusing a lot on, your mental energy and um, they could be conflicts too, but it's, it's not that bad actually. Not many of them, but I did, you know, they're just popping up. Anyway, let's start off with what you're coming in this week, and that is the Three of Clubs creativity. Creativity is in focus. It's also telling me if you are writing, reading, teaching, or if you're in the arts, um, the, the, this is bringing some creative energy to you too. So, it could also say that it could, it could also be saying that maybe you have uh, be debating, arguing, or have um, some kind of, of a debating um, ideas. So, and then you got the five of diamonds. This is um, changes in finances. Um, if you applied for a loan or or anything in that matter. You may be getting unexpected news, you know, that um, they probably did approve you, possibly for some of you. And it also could mean there could be some red tape about it. There's also a sense of worry about it, but it's um, undoubtedly, um, it's building. So I wouldn't be too worried about it. I would not, you know, or business tra transactions, uh, things like that. There could be some unexpected um, news about it. Good or bad, but I'm sensing that you're probably be getting better news about this and you're just more worried about it. Then you have the Four of Spades. Um, this is telling me it is time to relax, time to take a break. If you um, have been ill lately, um, this is, you know, you should be recovering. You should be doing fine. Take a break. Also, don't worry so much with the five of diamonds there too with this money situation. I wouldn't worry too much. So it's just saying pause, take a break, take a break, and recovering from an illness if you have not been feeling, you know, if you're under the weather lately. And then you have a beautiful card, the Jack of Hearts. This is telling me good news is coming in. I feel it's good news coming in. You know, so. You wouldn't worry so much. Then you have the six of spades. You can see that there. Um, fate, destiny. This is calling on some kind of fateful events. Um, destiny. Um, there's a sense of some turn of events, and they're fateful. They're coming in because the next card we see here is the tower and the tower with the six of spades there is telling me that there is some um, changes in some fateful destinies on its way and um it's something you you can't change it's just kind of has to happen and with three of spades um it, there could be some tragic events around you. I don't think this is to you, but um, around you. And it's, again, telling me that fate is, you know, it's something that you cannot control. And we what we, we can't worry about anything. You know, life is life. Um, 
everything comes to pass. Um, these could be just uh, changes that could be just very annoying and stressing. And, you know, at the end, it could be blessings in disguise. It's usually they are anyway, because life is life. Life, you know, it's a roller coaster ride. And then the underlining energy you have is the eight of diamonds, which is telling me, which I'm picking up, is the good news. So um, here you got the jack of hearts. You got the five of diamonds here. Um, it's telling me good news about money is coming in. Um, luck. I also feel there's some luck on your side. So, you know, I wouldn't worry about anything. Um, <laughs> worry. We all worry. And it's okay to worry. You know, everyone says it's a waste of energy and that. But, you know, it's human nature. So that's fine. Worry. I do it all the time. And it's fine. We have to, you know, what's life without emotion, worry, and so forth. But this is saying that you are, it's luck. Luck. Something good with money. You know, there's a... Good money coming on your side. And I'm going to pull a tarot card. Okay. So, here you go. If you can see it, it is the king of swords this to me is saying um taking a leadership role that's the feeling i'm getting off this card it is telling me you know with all the changes that is coming in or you know destiny's calling and it's going to push you into some kind of leadership role this could be work we um this could be the way you viewed life the way you were um maneuvering the way you it, I don't know what, what it's going to change for you, but you're going to be taking a leadership role. This is exactly what it's telling me. Um, so I think that's wonderful. You know, more power to you. Leadership role. That is the message I'm getting from there. So, you know, there are some changes. It's like that, but nothing bad. I also see um, there's some luck on your side, good news coming in, some worry about money, an exchange about money, but, you know, um, overall, not bad. A little accident prone. Be careful. Um, don't, you know, there's some, maybe some conflict around you or it's just a lot of mental energy. So otherwise it still looks like a good week. So you have, so have a great week, uh, Libras. And if you, if you, um, did not watch my coffee cup reading, so please go watch those tomorrow and, uh, please like, share and subscribe and see you next week. Thanks. Bye.